Good morning. Today is Wednesday, March 32nd, 2015. The state legislature is looking to wrap, up, wrap things up, and that means changes in education. I'm Hannah Barr. And I'm Carla Correa. Want to get paid for those good grades? We'll tell you how. Your CSN News starts now. It's the end of the session for our Idaho legislatures, and last night they passed a bill concerning high school graduation. As you know, all Idaho students are required to take the SAT college entrance test. Turns out that lawmakers don't think that you take that seriously, so they have instituted the SAT graduation index. If you score higher than 2300 on the SAT, you will automatically be considered proficient and will graduate at the end of that school year. Sponsors say this will get Idaho students into college sooner and cut educational costs as students will be able to skip their senior year. Another bill that was passed was the new IMFOOLD, or Idaho Makes Financial Order of Local Districts Act. This allows districts to reward students with up to $250 for every A they receive. On a sliding scale, students can receive up to $100 per B and $10 for C. Students receiving a D will be fined up to $100, and an F can cost up to $500. Officials say that the financial incentives should help students take their grades seriously, and giving passing rates among freshmen might even make the district's money. Today's April Fool's Day. History suggests that people have been playing practical jokes on each other for hundreds of years now, but how the holiday became official remains a bit of a mystery. One of the most popular theories about how April Fool's Day came to be is that in the year 1582, Pope Gregory XIII moved the start of the new year from the, beginning, from the end of March to the beginning of January. The change was, was made public, but not everyone got the memo, and those who didn't and thus continued to celebrate New Year's Day on April 1st were laughed at. Others insist that April Fool's Day is a joyous remnant of the age when people used to hold spring festivals, marking the end of the winter with ritualized forms of mayhem and misrule, and played pranks on friends and strangers to celebrate. Written stories of April Fool's Day jokes go back to the 1500s. We'll be right back after these messages. Are you fascinated with science? If you said yes, you're in luck. Ms. Bowen has started a science club. It takes place on the first Tuesday of every month. They do tons of fun things, like they go to the Boise Zoo, the Discovery Center, and the Boise Aquarium. They also take trips to local colleges and some big businesses like Micron and Simplot. And if you're interested and you talk to Ms. Bowen, you can also participate in some science competitions at NNU. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Bowen or visit her in room C204. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smiles, your first impression, make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today is high is 52 with a low of 31, mostly sunny. Tomorrow is high is 55 with a low of 26, sunny. Hey seniors, Boise State Color Guard auditions will be held this Saturday, April 4th. If you like to perform, are dedicated to excellence, and would like, to, uh, would like the opportunity to earn a scholarship while earning your college degree, then we would like to extend an invitation to you to audition for the Boise State Color Guard. To schedule an audition or to obtain more information, please email bsucolorguard at msn.com. Preston Capella Education Loan applications are now available. This is an interest-free loan from our district as long as it is paid back in a timely manner and you can meet certain qualifications qualifications. See your counselor if you are interested in applying for a Preston Capel loan. Applications are due by April 16th to the district office. This is a great opportunity. Don't miss it. Today's SAT word of the day is ostentatious, which means showy, pretentious display. You could use it this way. The ostentatious peacock displayed his plumage. That's for watching. And thanks for watching. And remember, if the news breaks, we'll fix it. <laughs> 